Hello everyone and welcome! I am replaying the scenario amidst the ruins of Glamdrol. Not because I did too badly on it last time, but because the following scenario is an absolute bastard, and as a result, I'm going to need all the resources I can get. So my aim in this replay is to get a better finish time, essentially try and finish a few turns earlier so I get more gold. Also, on General Bardil's side, get a few more level ups and uh, hopefully keep a few more units alive, especially the loyal ones. So that's the plan. We shall see how well it works out. I'm not going to read through all the dialogue. You can look at the first attempt if that's what you want. All right, the linear shows up. And the linear has the journal. So we've got two enemy players to defeat, we've got some gear we can pick up, there's a potion here, um, and there's an axe over here. So we're good to try and lure out this Zephyr already. I'll try and do that with Durvan. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit less far. I could send, and I probably should send, a few units to help out on the flank with Bardil. Um, not sure whether I want to send Anya. She's not the best for this, but uh, I'm just going to plonk her down here for now. Actually, you know, why not? I'm going to stick early in there. Hopefully that's tempting enough to lure out. And I'm going to recall a bunch of loyal troops. Especially this druid, because she can heal. Go back from the Slayer. we got a captain. we got a hero. I think there's some others too. This swordsman as well. Now it would be lovely to level up this swordsman because level three swordsman units are awesome. All right, everyone's loyal so far, and so it begins with Bardal's troops. We've got two hundred gold. My primary objective is to not get brutally slaughtered and I've got some loyal units that I can keep alive. This guy, actually, I think I underestimated before, because you can level these spearmen into very powerful leadership units. Bardil himself is actually pretty OP. Um, nice unit to have around. Gonna see if I can lure out this Chocobone. to be a tempting target. Maybe even come out on more? Yeah, why not? And then bring out Oro in support. You come down here. And I'm actually not going to recruit anything this turn. I'm going to wait till the green troops get a tad closer. Or maybe I'll recruit one or two. So, spearmen are good. Orcish archers are good. Orcish assassins are useful. Even though only sporadically against these dudes. They'll be good against Zephyrs, at least. Alright, and Bardil himself can stay where he is. Oh. 
Okay, Durvan is in his usual state of pretty badly wounded. Let's bring out some units to help out. Six health, and that should be a nice easy kill for my druid, who will also heal Durban next turn. Meanwhile, shall I, can I lure this guy out? Not yet. Okay, go and grab this house then. Aurelian can march forward. Um, everyone else here can march forward as well. So now I can recruit or recall. I don't have that much gold. Would be good to have some ghost line units, and I think this fire fairy who's about to level up is another good bet. I'm also going to get a skeleton. I don't think anyone else I've got can fight with an axe, so it's going to be you. And then over here I'm going to get some ghosts. And these ghosts, I think, mostly just going to be annoying. I'm going to get a foot pad to be annoying as well, because they're pretty annoying. Or am I? Will I have enough gold? Yeah, I'll have enough gold for three good recalls. And those three good recalls can be my fire fairy, probably two fire fairies in a ray. Yeah, it looks good. Actually, I can already recall one of them, whoever's going to be the slowest. They're all pretty fast, but Larry of the Fire Fairy can come out. Still, I should be able to recall two units next turn. Alright, time for Bardil. And... Can't, no one can reach... Oh, you can reach, that's cool. As can you, actually. That's good, you're halfway towards a level. And this is the point where there's quite a lot of enemy units, and it's probably not wise to lure them out yet. It's certainly not these Zephyrs who are in defense. I'm going to wait for the green units to come to me. Um, and hopefully I'll have fewer casualties than I did last time I did this. You guys can come down and get ready to support. Well, no one can reach, right? Right. These marksmen are very irritating. They don't, they don't have a lot of good defenses. So what I will need is some Orcish Grunts. Plenty of Orcish Grunts and a couple of Orcish Archers for the fire damage. Okay, I'll leave it there. Interestingly, the Chocobone doesn't come out. Not yet. Quite a lot of green troops. Purple hasn't run out of money yet. So, proceed everyone. Still can't quite get to this spot here, which is where I need to be in order to lure out that Zephyr. Got drones. Lovely. 
Can any of them reach me? No. Not except unless unless I use Tara. Anya. Let everyone keep moving because I do not want to waste any time. Actually, no. I want you to come down here. Excellent, it's a quick foot pad. Okay, this will not be any challenge. And over here, get my ray. And get my fire fairy. And Alinea can start moving out. I've got no gold income, but that's fine. I'm going for speed. And let's have... In case these, these drones do want to come out, I have a Barney. Front one can attack Anya. You guys could pretty much all stay where you are. Aha, uh -huh, that's a spot where you can be reached. Okay, that should be good. You come around here. You go and hide behind. You sit in the forest. You can fight that guy if you really want. And then it will be pulling back to the castle. I'm going to save again some income for Bardell rather than running out and spending everything straight away. I mean, ultimately, I will need to... Maybe I should just keep pushing, probably, in this wooded area. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, more orc grunts. More orcish archers. Um, do I want anything else? These, these archers are pretty useless. They're less good than the orcish ones, anyway. Scouts are not so useful. Assassins, maybe? More spearmen? More spearmen. And I've still got some gold left. And some bad ranged luck. Silly level ones. Oh no, we're level two. Ooh, gotta be careful of you. And this guy's annoying, this protector drone. Fortunately, a bit of fire damage should be able to take him out. And there's an enforcer drone over here. enough damage to, to kill it. Ah, no damage whatsoever. You're too slow. 
And then you, well, I want you to get the potion. It's a potion of crazy person! There we go, better resistance to all damage other than arcane. Why did you go over there? Why did I send you over there? Never mind. Join the main force. Alright, that's you done. Zero compromise on this flank. Be good to have you lured out. sure that you guys don't run into okay so not many green units in range at the moment so we can use our powerful units to deal damage Oh, that was very, very poor from uh, the mighty Kiara. Better, better from Horo. Still not perfect. Uh, where's my experienced? Oh, there you are. Stab. Excellent. Should I just let you do what you want? Probably is worth it, because the rest of these guys can't reach. You hop onto the house, and everyone who doesn't have a ranged attack, get out of dodge. Including my loyal. You will probably go over there and shoot this guy, in which case I ought to have some dudes ready to pounce. Do that, can't I? Yes, I can. Good. And once again, Bardil, hang on to a little bit of. Should I hang on to money, or should I just? No, I think I'm just gonna. These units are gradually gonna come north, and I'm gonna need to gradually kill them. Um, and I might as well just spend all my money. So I'm gonna have more orcish archers to deal with drones. More orcish grunts, because they can deal with anything. And then I'm out of money. And I can bring Bardal, Bardal down here. There we go. Ooh. Didn't see that you could range that. Well, you survived, which is surprising. In comes the level 3 drone. They are fast. 8 movement. Gotta make sure everyone stays out of range of them. All right. 
right, purple's still heading north. This drone has quite a reach on it. Gotta watch out for this guy, too. And I've gotta try and deal with what's over here. So I'm not gonna move super... where am I? Am I gonna move super fast over here? Maybe. Bonk. Watch out for this horseman. Nobble this guy with the bow of Chris Vellon. Dear, my damage output is not great today. Um, now I can kill one of these units with. I can kill one of these units with Anya, but that would expose her to this Magus. And Irelian is pretty exposed here. And if I put. Anya here, she's going to be extremely exposed. Still, I mean, it's only two level two and two level one units, one of whom slowed. And she does have 70 health. Try it. Could regret this, could regret this badly. Abathan the Slayer, you go and sit on this house. I can use you to block any extra damage to Irelian, but I'm actually not most worried about that. So I'm going to use you instead to block extra damage to the Druid. You come down here. As can you. You stay out of range of the fiery, fiery Zephyr, and you just come straight down. You guys will join in the battle. Maybe you can tempt some of these units away from the blue troops, because it looks like there is something of a horde approaching. You guys aren't very strong, so you're better at distracting than you are at anything else. And again, gotta watch out that you don't get in range of the Zephyr. So, who can reach you there? Too many people can reach you there. Undo. Okay, now you can reach. I'll just perch you guys here to help out. Alright. So as long as I can use my tough troops to take out these two, I can even put Bardal, Bard, Bardil on the house. Not going to. Going to use Bardil to do this. Okay, fighting is not his strong suit, and he doesn't have that many hit points either, so I do need to be careful with him. What's good about him, though, is he's got an absolutely beastly leadership ability. So 
such that probably... Hmm... If I can get Spearman down here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you just missed with both of the attacks. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Um, you run away. Well, you come in here and do what? Okay, and now... Uh, Still, still benefiting from Bardil's leadership. <laughs> like to see, love to see that. And then I need to just block down here with more weak and expendable units. the ones that aren't loyal should come down and... Uh, you can't move very far, can you? That's a shame. But you can move alright. You can come be 60% defense in this shallow water. Got an archer over here. And that means that I hope the Enforcer Drone can't do too much damage. This guy is not long for this world. And it could be the same for this guy too. Are we going to move him back? Put an Archer there instead. Just hope they don't manage to somehow kill Horro. Okay, and my Loyals are here and back. And this guy can move down. There we go. Hopefully that will be a good solid defensive line. Casualty. Alright, the green force is annoying, it's got too many drones in it, but it's not too terrifying. And oh, there's Lord Nahamoth. Oh, I got a zombie. Rip. <laughs> Longest lived Wesnoth unit ever. They didn't go for Anya, interestingly. I guess they figured she's got regenerate, it's less worth doing damage to her. Whew! Alright. Good job. So we got an archer here, we got a drone. Gotta watch out for the drone. They uh, want my skeleton to pick up this axe, and, and the drone does wicked damage. Oh, and this guy is getting very close to my forces over here. That will not be tolerated. Quite a lot of purple units coming up here, but uh, I hope nothing I can't handle. Just need to figure out how best to do it. Unfortunately, 
fire fairies aren't going to be hugely useful right now. Maybe they can help me take down this, this assault drone and then I can stick someone a little bit tankier in front. You just go there, you hop back here. Okay, not terrible. Not fantastic from you. Can anyone come around? Um, there's no magical units here, so I don't need to worry too much about losing my wraith. Very nice. Okay. So now... Melinia can go into the forest. And I can use everyone else to try and wallop this Magus. That wasn't great, Durban. Okay, it's nearly dead now, so... Down here, heal anyone who attacks. Uh, heal in here if she gets attacked. And you go this way because I need, I'll need some backup for my Skellington, who's looking pretty whacked at the moment. And here the issue is keeping... You're too slow, you're too slow. Oh, did I make a mistake there? Leaving my... I've left my, my ray in range. And that means that one of these guys can have an attack as well, if it decides to go for me. Hopefully they won't kill Krendel the captain. And over here we've got a situation emerging. not going too well. Okay, so... Priority over here is to get rid of the drones. I think first things first. I'm try and get rid of this guy. Can my loyal do that? In fact... Hmm, if I, if I go one further forward, I'm going to get more attacks next turn, so probably best not advance past where I am now. You just do, hopefully, massive suicide damage on this guy. Massive, yes. <clears throat> This is good. Stop my red units getting outflanked. At least by those guys. 
Gonna stick Claro in the woods. Nice work. You again, just go in, do some damage. This thing's a beast. Oh, it's gonna poison me as well, that's annoying. Is it worth it? Oh, could it could quite seriously nail me next turn, especially with this guy here. And this guy's not gonna last. Need to get rid of the invoker. bad defense on the sand, so get some of you into position to be more useful next turn. You should go and heal. Alright. Took more hits than I thought it would. Uh, that was decent. Oh. So they don't seem seem too inclined to go for horror. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, might be all over for this race. Oh, okay. Gain a little bit less accuracy, please. up north here, again making it difficult for my skeleton to go and grab that axe. Um, got to figure out how to best deal with this enforcer drone. Of all of these units, that's the one that's going to give me the most trouble. I don't have that many units here, actually. Yeah, I mean, the fire fairy on a mountain. It's a lot of damage, but also dealt a lot of damage. Irelian doing the Lord's work. As usual, the best way of, of healing for a wraith is to just get stuck in there. So you just get stuck in there. Maybe, yeah, you, you just go. You, you just go get stuck in there. 
That was pretty decent. Now you... Now I can choose which of these easy kills I want my Elvish Druid to go for. I'm going to try and get this one with the skeleton. There we go. Like, ah, I could have used I could have used Rogar. Dang it! Oh well. Um, can I lure the leader out? I could lure it out with a fire fairy. Sound of horse death. You guys are not in range of anything, you're 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 not in range of anything. Okay, things are going well over here. Things are, as usual, going less well on Bardil's flank. And I will need to make sure I come back and deal with these guys, because otherwise they're going to cramp my style. Stay where you are. Um, seems a waste to even use you for this. I mean, what will you do? You'll just run. Well. Okay, we've got an archer out here now as well. Blue can deal with this guy, so my purple troops, my red troops, can concentrate on this archer. Continuing to draw enemies away from this flank. Alright, once again, time to go for some heavy hits on hopefully this Enforcer drone. You're looking wounded, you can go in for it. You can just go for it anyway. Yes! Alright, and then you're close to a, an after maximum level. Kiara can come out to deal with this guy in the forest. That's risky. You're trapped. We can't reach him. Well, maybe not so risky. But not effective, sadly. Fast enough. Oh no. Oh. 
good stuff. And you become a flag bearer, so you have leadership. And I can get some sneaky archers in there. Sadly, not to do huge amounts of damage. Bardil, you get a little bit of health, maybe. Uh, could you, if you stay where you are. If you go there, if you go here, you'll just be shot, which is not really very helpful. <coughs> so I'm starting to clean up these green troops. And I think it's worth putting you here, just to, if nothing else, just to protect this flag bearer. Then you stay and get two health. And that's blue. Done. Sending himself. Can't reach you with my murder hobo slayer, unfortunately. Okay, can reach you with a fire fairy. Risky. But I don't really need you down here, and you won't be much help anyway. No, it does just seem too risky. I'll be throwing away a level 2 unit for really no good reason at this point. So let's try and get a better setup for that. You go there. Gotta arrange this so that purple leader If purple leader perp comes out, purple leader needs to attack the right people. You're slow. You're slow. Gotta worry about you three. Durban is just as tough as nails, so no much, not much need to worry about him. Okay, and we've got a shied. much damage to you. Okay, you could attack the shy, that would be annoying. But you're the only one that can, and I don't think you can kill it. No, you can't. It'll just get healed by Lini next turn. Can you go there, and if you...
I mean, if you do go there, then everything else around here is just going to murder you, so... That's fine. If you really, really want to come and attack my fire fairy on a house. Um, could put you here, then you would get attacked. You could get attacked by the the guy with the ranged weapon, but he's only going to do half damage against you anyway. So you might as well get that healing. Anya. You could come and get this village, I guess, and you'd be then attackable by the leader and his pal. Not particularly weak to Pierce, no. You can always run away if you need to. And up here, we can continue this silly fight. Seven hell. Now you're on one health. Good, perfect for the wolf rider to take out. This is looking okay. Could be worse, I guess. Let's see. You gotta watch out for the big NH who is gonna make his way up here. Hopefully have everything else out of the way before he arrives. Okay, you come back down here, and first of all... Good. Open yourself up to getting gunshot wounds. I'm running out of units down here. Bardil can go home and recruit more. After he's done some leadership things. Do I, yeah, I probably want to lure out this chocobone before anything else happens. Okay, good. Well, you're done with your leadership, so you can run off home. You can take the house. You can do this. Get you out of the woodland. Maybe with the more experienced. Kill for horror, taking him closer to another level. <laughs> uh, not as good as I was hoping for. Now if you go there, you come down here. Oh, you can do the moving after attacking thing, I forgot about that. That's handy. You just come down here. 
and provide fodder. One of you here is a better place to provide fodder. No, here is good. 40%. If they kill you, meh. Alright, that's blue. Like that. Well, that's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, here's the chocolate bone. Two hits? No, not. You're joking, man. Oh, come on. This has been a really good turn for the Chaos player. Skeleton first of all picks up the axe. Over here, we can once again try and weaken this dude. If this archer wants to shoot you, then so be it. You can head south very slowly. As can you. You're not going to get any much experience this level, are you? Maybe you should head over here. You only need to fight someone in order to... Slowed. Uh, I think more. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, marksman damage is extremely weak against this guy, so I'll do something else. Also not very effective. Oh. Oh. Okay, can I just leave you if you be? Probably can. and kill you with Krendil and succeed. Excellent. Get some health back on these guys. Now maybe Anya is going to get whacked, but it's the daytime so it shouldn't be too horrifying. You come down here. Is 
the removed. Yep, looks like it. Okay, this is a tricky situation to navigate. I want you to do this but not get killed. I don't think you're killable in this situation. for our flag bearer friend. Now the south is looking a bit ugly. Might be able to kill this ray blade. Uh, Oro, if you can get a level 2 kill, you would level up. But that really involves killing this zephyr and I don't think... maybe not the zephyr, maybe the ray blade. No! Oh, it worked! <laughs> that was not... <laughs> that wasn't the plan at all. Okay, well... <clears throat> okay, um... Nasty Pants is out of range. Good. You're speedy, you could go up there, but if you really want to go up there just to kill a regular orcish grunt, then be my guest. You come back here, you're gonna die, that's fine. You're gonna probably also die. Um, yeah, it could be worse. All well, this could be worse. Uh, unless they gang up on my loyal leader, and I'm gonna have some grunts. Oh well, there goes my assassin. Grip. the experience to my skeleton hopefully. There we go. This guy is a real pain in my butt. And this So I think, I guess, well you're a skirmisher so you can always reach anyway, I can't, I keep trying to zone of control you, but it's, it's, it's futile. I guess I should just do the damage while I can, because otherwise this, how fast can you move? Seven, you can move eight, okay, yeah. Oh, well, look, it looks a bit better. Alright, time to deal with this leader. You're too slow. Oh dear. Maybe you, maybe you can do it. 
You would get hit, hit, killed with three hits. You're too slow. Okay, down goes that leader. Now we're just going to be careful with the two remaining people. Ow, got shot a lot by you. Good stuff. Get health. You grab that village. I know Linear almost gets the kill there, that's fine. You come out here. This is where I need to be careful because I'm going to get into conflict with the nasty bastard. You could you you come so close to a level; it's really frustrating. You're on one health, but I think the real play is for everyone to retreat just for now. To the ramparts. Okay, you're very close to death now. Okay, now Hamoth goes for it. And the archer levels! <laughs> Maybe, can I get this guy out of there? It'd be useful to have a level 2 crossbow for the next scenario. Good chunk of experience for you as well, and the rest of you move in. Can Anya now come and help somewhere else? Not up here, because I don't have any convenient houses. Yeah, her best bet's just to join the main squad, and hopefully 
they will just power in here and defeat the green player. Meanwhile over here... Who's more useful to get the who's, who should I get the experience with? This guy or the Wolf Rider? Probably the Wolf Rider, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know though. They will still be less. They, they'll be in my in my squad for less long. So I'm gonna do it with the swordsman. Okay. Now you guys move in. Green player is left with mostly weak units and a few people who will be triggered in combat. Um, don't want you to get charged because I don't actually know how that interacts with Berserk and it could get messy. Instead, you go and grab that last few points of health and you can come very slowly down here. You've done your job. <laughs> you picked up the axe. Alright, that's the red player. Blue player, you can run away pretty effectively and sub someone else in. Really want to get rid of that flipping shocker bone, then I think everything else is, is all gravy. I can almost zone of control all of these guys. going to move in with the grunts. No point hanging around too much. Chocker bone's a bit faster, but that's fine. It's dusk. Um, so I basically don't want it to kill anyone who's still up here. You can't be reached. Good. You're blocking the chocker bone so that means I can put Bardil there. On the charge, you're going to do an absolute ton of damage. You could kill one of my level threes. If you got really lucky. So you stay there. You come and join the party. There we go. Out for this guy. Oh, he's so the reason he's so powerful is because he was next to flipping no Hamoth, he's got leadership at level five. Uh yeah, worth bearing that in mind.
Still, you're going to do 28 damage on a hit to other other than. So I don't want to really really want that to happen immediately. I'd like you to attack someone a bit, a bit less essential if you're going to do that at all. We may be you in the forest, you get 70%, so you're unlikely to be zapped, to be instantly gibbed. Let's try it. We'd have to hit with both. One of those times where you sometimes just have to take risks, even though it's not necessarily the wisest choice. I would like to get this village to... Maybe I don't even want to push south with these guys. Maybe they should just stay north and distract our ham off. Well, first things first. out of units that I can easily throw away. Maybe I should go back with Bardil again. Yeah, I probably should. Because you again, you can get one-shotted by this flippin' Chocobone. Tempting to stick Bardil down here <laughs> so that he can be. so that he can provide some counter leadership, but. Uh... <sighs> Such a powerful unit. So annoying. And now that I've moved you here, I can't really give up on this flank. You know what, I'm just going to stand here like a lemon. And Bardil can go home. You can come south. See how this works. Mostly worried about this chocobone. Oh no, it can reach Bardil. Oh well. I don't think it can one shot him. Not without Narhamoth around. Oh, don't do that! That 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 chocobone is flipping 
hanging around next to Narhamoth and getting his leadership. I do not like it. And this guy didn't even come out to fight. I have to keep pushing because I need to finish as early as I can. You guys can't reach very far at all. If you want to attack a weak ghost, that is fine. Interesting. Ah, that's better. You just hang around up here, I think. Alright. This leader, as far as I can recall, is not that smart, so it might just come out of his base. this world either. Now, get level 3 demon triggered, and maybe this guy as well. There's a ray blade up here. Hmm. Gotta be a bit careful with who I put on the front lines. Demons are neutral, interestingly. I always think they're chaotic, but they're actually not. 
pretty much everyone else in this campaign is chaotic. We go down here. Still reachable by lots of folks. Useless now. Okay, you're weakened, so that's good. Hmm. I know I can reach. Ugh. All right, but the big boys are coming to play. got a bit battered, but hopefully it's nothing that I can't survive. You, you evil person. You got poisoned and now we're on 21 health. Oh, 31 health. So slow through the forest, it wants you to go around that way. It's interesting. Uh. Oh, you, I think you didn't move last turn. Dang it. I'm done with that. Now it's the big demon. How far can you reach? You can reach to there. Alright. Still good. I'm going to bring out Elinia.
decent amount of damage. Dangerous. Good job, Irelian. Double slow this guy. Come at him with a wraith. In. Okay, I've only got one level two unit. Have we got my two my two advanced recruits? And the turn limit is looking a lot better than it was before. So maybe you can swap yourself out. You come down here. You're trapped, so you can go over here and grab this village. And then the rest of you, that's just, the rest of you is just you two. So you can go down. And you can grab some health. Come out to play. Well, it's gonna have to soon. Is my is my loyal slayer gonna get killed now? Not if I block him off with other units. Well, maybe still if I block him off with other units. But if you really want to come around there and do that, I mean, you're actually. I don't think you'd do it. I don't think you're strong enough. Maybe if you get lucky, but that would be a very very suicidey move for one of you to make. And as for you, you're not a skirmisher, so it doesn't matter. So I'll leave it at that.
Ah, uh, another leadership thing. Alright, can I kill Karathas this turn? I feel like I ought to be able to. So much so that it seems... Seems like I ought to give some experience to other people. useful of you, but now you're irrelevant, so that's all that matters. Oh, yeah, you're on 14 health. Risky. Pointless. Pointless. Oh dear. Good to you. Alright. Now there really can be there really should be no way. <laughs> Okay, now Hamoth offers some waffle, and we can't stop him before he escapes. So that's that. Okay, so we have quite a lot more gold this time around. Bonus gold 92 for Bardil, and bonus gold 120 for Alinea. And I'm just hoping that that, plus the extra loyals, will be able to help us hold the line in the next scenario. But tune in next time to find out. That's it from me. Goodbye.